I didn't think anything of it until I started working on a project tonight and I wanted to look at a sketch and but lo and behold, the same thing happened to me. I couldn't open up Arduino. And I looked around in Google search and I couldn't find anything new on there. So, uh, you know, I posted something on uh, the Facebook thing and I said I was having the same issue. Uh, I found an older one that's... Okay, I'm going to start this all over again because... This thing on YouTube, the way they got this set up, you have it go. He says go live, and you have to hit it. And I thought I was live. I'm not sure if I was live, but then I seen a button up there and it says go live again. So I had to hit it again. So uh, I'm going to play this video over again. Uh, I'm going to start from the very beginning and tell you what happened. Uh, there was a problem with Arduino. So. What the issue was, people were having problems opening up Arduino today. And I guess they thought it was Windows, and I thought it was Windows 2, because every second Tuesday, Windows does an update. So, but when I did some searching around, uh, I found one issue, and that'll be in the in the video, but it wasn't an issue with Windows. It was actually a issue with Arduino. So we're going to play this video. I was trying to render it and it froze up in the render twice. So I wanted to get this video out uh, so people could see, you know, how to solve this uh, problem in Arduino. So <laughs> uh, I, I might, it crashed twice it, when I was rendering, and I just gave up with it. I had to use Task Manager to uh, delete the program and restart the computer. And this has been happening with Vegas for some times now. How you doing, Miles Junction and Scale? All right. I started this, and it, it, it screwed up. YouTube screwed up this thing on here. You have to keep clicking and clicking and clicking to, to start the stream. So I was there talking for a while. Hey, how you doing, Art? So I'm going to play this video. It's almost six minutes long, and it explains how to resolve the issue with Arduino. If you were having a problem with opening the IDE, which I was having a problem because I'm working on a problem right now, and I'll show it to you right here. And I, oops, I forgot I, turn, I didn't turn this camera on tonight. But anyway, it was my lightning project i'll put it up right here on my uh at tiny 85 i got everything hooked up for it and i got it working so i tested it out i'm going to be doing a video on that and i'll be putting that on a uh, circuit board let me get this out of the way here. I'll be putting that on a circuit board so we can get that thing going. But anyway, here's the video. Uh, take a look at it. Uh, it's very informative. And it actually works because when I did the video, when, while I was recording it, I, I didn't check it out first. I just recorded it as I was doing it and it worked. So here we go. If you work in the Arduino IDE quite frequently, you may have noticed that on June the 10th, people were having issues opening the IDE. It will not open. Let me show you what to do. Hi, I'm Tom Kovicek, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And I noticed something on Facebook that somebody had an issue opening up Arduino. And I didn't think anything of it until I started working on a project tonight, and I wanted to look at a sketch and... But lo and behold, the same thing happened to me. I couldn't open up Arduino. And I looked around in Google search and I couldn't find anything new on there. So, uh, you know, I posted something on uh, the Facebook thing and I said I was having the same issue. Uh, I found an older one that said that you have to open up Arduino as an administrator 
and then after that it'll work but i tried that and it didn't work so i did a little bit more searching on arduino help and it sent me to a the github where they have daily updates on things and i found a solution on there so i'm going to try it out right here and see if it works for me i haven't tried it yet and i'll walk you through the steps and i'll bring up the the help file right here the problem is a new section arduino beta for portina h7 in arduino package index json so if you have windows now the the people that were having the issue uh had a had windows so i'm going to go through that because that's what i have but uh you can see the link up here and i'll put this link in the description of the video it's github.com arduino slash arduino slash issues slash 10341 but it'll be in the description but it says remove the file c users and whatever your name is for the computer app data local arduino 15 package index json so if you cannot see app data then you have to go back into your and let me bring this up here control panel and hopefully you could pull up all control panel items like this and go into file explorer options and let me bring this in the center right here view and make sure hidden files and folders this radio button is checked by default it is don't show hidden folders so you have to check that hit apply then okay and then you will be able to see the hidden folder now i already have it at the folder and as you can see it says c drive users tak50 which is my uh, username on here app data local arduino 15 and the package index json it says delete that file right there so we're gonna i'm gonna right click on that and we're gonna go down here and delete okay now the next thing it says is remove app data local arduino cache so we'll go back one oop that went back too far okay <laughs> okay we'll go this way here we'll go to and it says remove this folder right here so and you can see that i was using on using this on the eighth and the ninth and this is probably what it's talking about here but it says the whole folder remove folder so we're just going to go up to here right here like that go to cache boom delete remove folder okay so all that is removed right now now we're going to see if this works we may have to restart but uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, it's starting now. Okay, that's the solution right there. Everybody thought it was Windows because Windows did an update on the second Tuesday of the month. I think yesterday, 9th, was the second Tuesday and they thought it was the Windows update, but actually it was an Arduino issue. So there's the solution and it works so until the next time we'll see ya there is the in oh let me put the microphone back in front of me there is the video in its entirety uncut and i put a thing in there i had another clip in there for if you haven't done so already and you would like to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, ding that bell so you can be notified whenever I have a new video coming out. And 
Don't forget the playlist. I have a lot of playlists up there where you can see a lot of different videos in different categories. So that's everything that was going to be in the video. But that's all I have to say tonight. That's why I put this thing up there. And thanks for coming. And I get a bit rate is lower than the recommended bit rate. We recommend that you use a stream bit rate of 4,500 kbps. And I always put it up at around 6,000. So, you know, anyway, that's what YouTube says on my thing. But that's the video. I hope this helps out people on there. And <laughs> I got to find a new... Uh, editing software. I've, I've been using uh, Vegas Pro since, uh, what, 2004? I've got it since, you know, the early early days. It wasn't even called Vegas. It was called, it's called Sonic Foundry back then. And it was actually, a, it started out as an audio program. But I've been pretty uh, loyal to it. But it's just been, you know, every year it just gets more and more problems. And I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go to FX Home. So uh, that's uh, a program that's free right now, but uh, they have a paid version of it. I think I'm going to get the paid version of it and start using that instead of Vegas. But that's another thing that I have to learn. So another thing to learn in my old age. So, wow. Okay, so I'm going to end this thing. Oh, let me put the music back on. There you go. I had the music on before. So uh, let me end this thing right now. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you learned something. I learned something tonight. And it wasn't Windows this time. It was actually Arduino. So until the next time, let me see where this thing is here. We'll see ya. And I got to remember.